All right, everyone, thanks for joining me for our cardio workout today. We're going to get started with a warm up. Warm up however you need to to be prepared to work out today, or you can follow along with me. I'm just going to start by walking around my space um, or walking in place, whatever you prefer. As I walk, I'm going to add arm circles while I walk or arm swings um, or shoulder rolls, whatever feels good for you today. But putting my arms in that T position and then doing clockwise circles and then going the opposite way, counterclockwise circles, really warming up my whole body before we get into some cardio. After you're feeling good walking it out, I'm gonna come to the center of my mat. I'm gonna do windmill toe touches. So spread my feet farther than shoulder width put my hands back into that T position and try to touch opposite hand to opposite foot or opposite knee, however far you can bend down. And I'm gonna do about 10 of these. So go at your own speed. My ears were burning because I thought I should call you because I think- I'll Try to get that a good core twist in. I've recently had an experience where you have to adapt and then after you're feeling good with windmill toe touches i'm going to move into glute kicks so just bringing one heel at a time back to kick my glute going to start slow um just like i'm uh walking in place and then i'm gonna get a little bit faster to get my heart rate up a little bit for about 10 seconds. Awesome. After glute kicks, I'm going to do high knees. So same format, one knee at a time. I'm gonna raise up towards my chest. I'm gonna start slow, marching in place, getting a good stretch in. And then I'm gonna pick up the speed. So more like I'm running in place. Get my blood moving, get my heart rate up. And about five more seconds here. And awesome. That is our warm up. Continue to warm up if you need while I go through our workout today. So cardio, um, as usual, the goal of our cardio workout is to just move as long as we can in whatever capacity that looks like for you. So point of cardio is to um, get your heart pumping and try to work on endurance and your cardiovascular strength. So that is the goal of the workout, but that can be different between person to person. So definitely check in with yourself and either modify or push yourself however you need to. It's all up to you. I'm just here to help you along with that. So as usual, we're going to have four different circuits. We're gonna go through the first two circuits three times and the second circuit, two circuits twice. Each circuit has two different exercises. We'll go through twice, followed by active recovery in between. For active recovery, you can follow along with me or do whatever feels good to you. Um, just to keep moving, um, to slowly cool your heart rate down and slow your breathing, but not stop moving completely. So that's the goal. Can be very different depending on your goals for today. So getting into the first circuit, this is the same workout as last week. So the moves are going to be familiar if you were here last week. Um, the first one is a dip and reach. So for a dip and reach, I'm going to start with my feet just shoulder width apart. I'm gonna start by stepping my right foot to the right. As I step my right foot to the right, I'm gonna take my left hand, go up overhead and then reach to my right. So I'm gonna step and then reach to the right. The dip is gonna be a slight bend in my knee as I'm stepping and then my left foot comes to meet my right and I bring my hand down. Then I repeat on the left side. So I'll step to the left with my left foot as I'm stepping, I'm reaching my right hand 
up overhead to the left side, getting that slight knee bend as I bring my right foot to meet my left. And we're just gonna alternate, dip, and then reach to the same side that you are stepping. Are there any questions with dip and side reach? Ashley, is awesome. there a way to modify that? Um, yep, so instead know. of bending your knees and doing the dip, you can just do a side step and reach. You can take the dip out of it. So just stepping left, stepping right, and reaching overhead. But that's good, okay. Yep, um, Thank you. and then a modification the other way, you can get really deep into your body weight squat to try to add in some leg work if you wanna focus on that. And instead of doing a quick dip, you can do a full body weight squat and then reach up overhead. When you reach, you wanna be really, have your arm tight, strong reach over your head and then back down um, to get a full body movement in with this one. All right, Thank that you. is the dip and reach. Great. Second exercise Thanks. is the side step in arm swing. So these two are kind of similar. We're gonna start with a side step. So that's just one step to the right and one step to the left. That's what our feet will be doing. And then I'm gonna add in an arm swing. So I'm gonna swing my arms forward and back. So when I step to the left, my hands are gonna go back behind me. When I bring my right foot to meet my left, my hands will swing forward. So every step I'm taking, my arms are swinging back and forth. You wanna create tension on your arms. So it kind of feels like you're moving them through water, which will um, add that resistance piece. If you have weights, you can hold on to those. Or if you have just something to hang on to, to add a little bit of um, extra weight, you can do that also. But body weight with tension will also create that resistance. Any questions with step and arm swing? Awesome. So those are our two exercises. Going to be followed by active recovery in between each. Some options for active recovery, walk in place, jog, run, sidestep, shuffle, calf raise, jumping jack, jump rope, walk it out, whatever feels good. I'm just going to call one. You can follow along with me or choose your own adventure. All right, we're gonna start with dip and side reach in about 10 seconds. Here we go. And in three, two, one, go ahead, dip and side reach. Nice job, we are almost halfway. Ten seconds. She's here. You can take a break. And in three, two, one, active recovery. I'm gonna jog in place. Get my feet moving. Another round of dip and reach. In three, two, one. Go ahead. Make sure you're reaching up overhead to the side that you're stepping. Nice job, halfway. And in three, two, one. After recovery, I am going to march in place. i bring my knee up a little bit higher this time. We are on to the second exercise, side step arm swing. In three, two, one. Go ahead, side step and arm swing. Nice work. Keep that tension on your arms as you swing. Halfway. And 
And in three, two, one. Active recovery. I am going to jog in place. Another round of side step arm swing. In three, two, one. Go ahead. Nice job. Halfway. the top. Starting with dip and side reach. In three, two, one. Go ahead. Halfway. Recovery. I am going to shuffle. Two steps right, two steps left. <laughs> Another round. Dip and side reach. In three, two, one. Go ahead. Halfway. Less than 10. And three, two, one. Active recovery. I am going to walk it out. We are on to side step and arm swing. In three, two, one. Go ahead. Side step, arm swing. Halfway. And in three, two, one, active recovery. I am going to do blue kick. Another round, side step arm swing. In three, two, one, go ahead. Nice job, everyone. Halfway. And in three, two, one. Active recovery. I am going to jog in place. One last time through. Last round of circuit number one. Starting with dip and reach in three, two, one. Go ahead. Last time through the circuit. Halfway. In three, 
two, one. Active recovery. I am going to do high knees or march in place. We have one last round of dip and reach. In three, two, one. Go ahead. Last 30 seconds of dip and reach. Halfway, last 15. And in three, two, one. Active recovery. I am going to sidestep. Last two exercises. Take some deep breaths. Starting with side step arm swing. Three, two, one. Go ahead. Last two minutes of exercise here. Less than 10. And in three, two, one. Active recovery, I'm gonna jog in place. Last active recovery before rest. One last time, side step arm swing. In three, two, one, go ahead. And halfway, last 15. And in five, four, three, two, one, and recover. Nice job. Circuit number one is complete. Gonna grab a little bit of water. If you were here yesterday, I was talking about how I broke my water bottle. So today I just have a glass cup filled with water. And I don't, <laughs> think, that's, I don't think that's the smartest move when I'm working out, but that's what I have. <laughs> But it's done. Leaky right. water. Yeah, right? <laughs> you got a okay, trial. circuit number two. Two new exercises. Uh, the first one is called a four step. So for this one, the first 30 seconds, we're going to do just our right leg. And then the second 30 seconds, we'll do just our left leg. So starting with our right leg for the four step, we're going to step four times out to the right with just our right foot while our left foot stays in place. So step to the right um, directly to the side. Don't step too far that you're off balance or uncomfortable. Just a quick step to the right. After you do that four times, we're gonna step backwards with our right foot four times. So back, return to start, and then back four times. And we'll just repeat that sequence for the whole 30 seconds stepping to the right four times and then stepping backwards four times um with that one i like to have my hands on my hips helps me with balance or you can have your arms in a t position um, or just down at your sides whatever feels good any questions with the four step awesome um with that one you can work on speed going as fast as you can. You can try to do it to the beat of the music or slow it down um, and control is also an option. Then the second exercise is our two step with a high knee. So I'm gonna start in the center of my space. I'm going to take two steps to the right. So my right foot will lead two steps to the right. After my second step to the right, I'm gonna do a high knee with my left leg and then bring both of my hands to touch the top of my left knee. 
After that, I'm going to move to the left. So leading with my left foot, one step to the left, two steps to the left. After my second step to the left, I'm going to do a right leg high knee and then bring both of my hands to touch the top of my right knee. We'll just alternate through two steps and then high knee. You're always high kneeing with the opposite knee of the way that you are moving. So it will always be your outside knee, if that makes sense. Any questions with two-step high knee? Awesome. That's the sequence that we have for number two. We're gonna go through this three times, starting with our four step on our right foot in three, two, one. Go ahead, four step with the right leg, four steps out to the right, and then four steps behind. Halfway. Less than 10. And in three, two, one. Active recovery. I'm going to jog and play. Next up is the four step with our left leg. Starting in three, two, one. Go ahead, left leg. Nice work, halfway. Try to get a few more rounds in. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Active recovery. I am going to sidestep to the left and to the right. We are on to second exercise. Two step high knee. In three, two, one. Go ahead. Two step and a high knee. Go at your own pace with this one. Try to get your knee up towards your chest. 10 seconds. And in three, two, one. Active recovery. I am going to walk it out. Slow it down a little bit, catch my breath. Another round, two step high knee. In three, two, one, go ahead. Halfway. Five seconds. And three, two, one. Active recovery. I am going to do calf raises. We're back to the beginning. Round number two. Starting with four steps on our right leg. In three, two, one. Go ahead. Five seconds. And three, two, one. Active recovery. I am going to shuffle. Two step to the left and to the right. Okay. 
another round with our left leg. In three, two, one. Go ahead, four step with your left leg. Halfway. Five seconds. And three, two, one. Active recovery. I'm gonna walk it out, shake my legs out. We are on to two step high knee. In three, two, one. Go ahead. Two step high knee. Halfway. And in three, two, one. Active recovery. I am going to march in place. Take some deep breaths. Another round, two step high knee. In three, two, one. Go ahead. Nice work. Halfway. Less than ten. And in three, two, one. Active recovery, I am going to walk it out. We're back to the top. One last time through. Check in with how you're feeling. This is our last three round circuit. Starting with four steps in three, two, one. Go ahead, right leg. Halfway. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Active recovery. I'm going to do blue kick. One last round of our four steps with our left leg. In three, two, one. Go ahead, left leg. Halfway. recovery, I am going to shuffle. We have two exercises left. Starting with two step high knee in three, two, one. Go ahead. Last two rounds of exercise. And in three, two, one. Active recovery. You jog in place. Last active recovery for this circuit.
And in three, two, one. Last round, two step high knee. Halfway, last 15 seconds. Finish strong here. Less than 10. And three, two, one. And recover. Woo. Nice work. Circuit number two is done. Gonna grab a little bit of water. Catch my breath. Awesome. Our next two circuits, we're gonna go through them twice. So we made it through the three round circuits. Great job. Next circuit, two new exercises. Uh, the first one we have is a wide glute kick with a clap. So for this one, we'll start with the wide glute kicks, um, just like our warm up glute kicks, but our feet will be a little bit farther than shoulder width apart. So however far out is comfortable for you without losing any balance here. And then you'll just take your glute kick, kick back to try to touch your heel to your glute. And now we'll add in an arm movement with this one. When you kick your leg back, so I'm gonna start with my right leg. I'll kick my right leg back to do a glute kick. And then I'm gonna clap my hands in front of my chest. I'll bring my foot back down and then repeat as I bring my left leg up, I'm going to clap in front of my chest. So every time I do a glute kick, I'm clapping my arms in front of my chest. Again, with this one, you can move your arms with tension to create that resistance to make this a full body movement. Um, when you bring your arms back, you should feel your shoulder blades kind of squeeze together and then clap your hands together in front of your chest. And that is the wide glute kick and clap. Any questions with that one? Awesome. And then the second exercise is a pulsing dip or a dip pulse. So some options for this one. So. Um, like in our first circuit, when we dip down, it's just a knee bend. So options for everyone is to choose how far you want to bend your knees down. So you can go all the way into a body weight squat, legs at 90 degrees, um, knees not coming over your toes, sitting back like you're sitting in a chair. Or you can just have a slight bend in your knee. Your legs can stay pretty much almost straight, but just have a slight bend. And then we're going to pulse by just deepening a little bit further up and down into that position that we're holding. So that is where the pulse comes in. Um, yeah, any questions with the dip pulse? Awesome, for both of these movements, if you're trying to avoid any knee bend, you can just do a side step and clap and then just really limit your knee bend as we do the pulse. Any question? Let's do it. Going through this circuit twice, starting with wide glute kick and clap in three, two, one. Go ahead. Wide glute kick and clap. Halfway. And in three, two, one. Active recovery, I'm going to jog. Get my heart rate back up a little bit. Get my feet moving. Another round of wide glute kick and clap in three, two, one. Go ahead. Get 
as I wide boot kick, I'm kind of leaning to the left and to the right. Halfway. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Active recovery. I'm gonna shake my legs out. Do side step. Small step here. Next up is our dip pulses. Choose how far you go down for these. In three, one, go ahead. Pulse, little movement, deepen. Challenge yourself to go as long as you can. If you need to take a break, stand up, shake it out. Do it. So we got 10 seconds left. Less than five, three, two, one. Active recovery, shake your legs out. I'm going to march in place. Thank you for being a friend. Nice work there, we got that another time. Your heart is true, you're a pal and a confidant. In three, two, one. I'm not Go ahead, dip pulses. 30 seconds here. My hat is off. Won't you stand up and take a bow? Nice work. We are already halfway. Only 15. Less than 10. And three, two, one. Shake your legs out. Active recovery. I am going to walk it out. Thank you for being a friend. Thank you for being we are back to the beginning. One more time through. If it's a car you let. Starting with wide boot kick and clap. In three, two, one. Go ahead. Last time through this circuit. I'm not ashamed to say. It always will stay this way. Halfway. My hat is off. Won't you stand up and take a bow? And when we both get older, and we're in three, and two, one. Have no Active recovery. I am going to tap me. raise. I will stand real close and say thank you for being a friend. Thank you for being a friend. One last round of wide glute kick. Starting in three, two, one. Go ahead. Last 30 seconds of wide glute kick and clap. Halfway. And three, two, one. Active recovery. I am going to sidestep. Last two exercises here with our dip pulses. And when we both get older, in three, two, one. Go ahead, dip pulses. Thank you for being a friend. Thank you for being a friend. And then five, three, two, one. Active recovery. I'm going to jog in place. Last active recovery for circuit number three. Last round of dip pulses in three, two, one. Last 30 seconds. You got this. All 
already halfway. Less than 10. And in three, two, one, and recover. Woo. Circuit number three is done. Nice job. We are on to our last circuit of the day. Gonna grab a little bit of water, take some deep breaths. Awesome. Last circuit before our cool down. Two new exercises. The first one is a alternating leg lift. So for this one, I'm going to start with my feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna alternate leg lifts. So lifting our leg to the side with our uh, legs as straight as we can, and then alternate to lift to the other side. So I'll start with my right leg. I'm gonna have my hands on my hips when I do this one. I'm going to lift my right foot off the ground towards the right. And I'm gonna try to lift it um, as high as I can off the ground, which is not very high. So as high as is comfortable, I'll lower my leg back down and then we'll repeat the same thing with the left leg um, side or raising my left leg, to the left side, trying to keep my knee straight and then lowering it back down. So alternating right leg lift and then left leg lift. Any questions with alternating leg lift? Awesome. And then the last exercise is standing side crunch. So for this one, it's like a high knee core twist, but we're not twisting. We're going to do the same side high knee touching the same side elbow. So I'm going to bring my right knee up towards my chest. And then my arms are kind of starting. Um, my hands are kind of on the back of my head. So my arms are up in the air. I'm going to try to touch my right elbow to my right knee lower my leg back down, and then try to touch my left elbow to my left knee. So we're targeting um, the sides of our core instead of twisting in front. So standing side crunch. Any questions with that one? Awesome. All right. Last circuit twice through before our cool down. Starting with our alternating leg lift in three, two, one. Go ahead, last circuit for the day. Try to keep your legs straight as you lift. Don't have to lift very far off the ground. Halfway. And then three, two, one. Active recovery, I'm going to do jump rope. So any way you wanna jump and swing, like you're swinging a pretend jump rope. Or you can just step one foot at a time. Another round of leg lift in three, two, one. Go ahead. Alternate leg lift. Ten seconds. And in three, two, one. After recovery, I am going to drag. Drag and play. Next up, standing side crunch. In three, two, one, go ahead. Standing side crunch, alternating side.
five seconds. Three, two, one. Active recovery. I'm going to side step. Just quick steps to the left and right. Another round of standing side crunch in three, two, one. Go ahead. Make sure you're crunching at your side. 10 seconds. And three, two, one. Active recovery. I'm going to walk it out. We are back to the top. One last time through the entire circuit. And we are done for the day. Best round yet. Starting in three, two, one. Alternating leg lift. Go ahead. Nice work, halfway. And in five, three, two, one. After recovery, I'm going to march. Bring my knee up a little bit higher. One last round of alternating leg lift. In three, two, one. Go ahead. Last 30 seconds of this exercise. Halfway. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Active recovery. I am going to shuffle. Two steps left, two steps right. We have our last two exercises in standing side front. Starting in three, two, one. Go ahead. Halfway, nice job. So bring your good times and your laughter too. Ten seconds. And party with you. Come on and celebrate. And three. Let's go celebrate. One. Active recovery. I'm going to jog it out. Last active recovery of the day. Finish this workout strong. And in three, two, one, go ahead, last 30 seconds, standing side front. Nice job, everyone, last 15. Get a few more reps in. It's a celebration. Less than 10. Let's celebrate. And in three, two, one, and recover. Woo. Nice job. Four circuits down. Great work, everyone. Grab a little bit of water. And we will get into a cool down. Make sure you're stretching or cooling down anything you need. And you can follow along with me as well. I'm gonna start with some deep breathing. So my legs are a little bit further than shoulder width apart. I'm gonna reach both hands up to the ceiling. 
making myself as tall as I can and taking a really deep inhale. And then as I exhale, I'm going to bend at my waist, try to touch my hands to the ground or to your shins or your knees to stretch that out. And then just move through that sequence a few times, taking a deep breath, inhale, reach up towards the ceiling, and then exhale, forward fold. I'm gonna go about three times total. So go at your own speed. Really important to take deep breaths, regulate your breathing if you're breathing heavy. On your last exhale, if you wanna widen your feet a little bit more, let your arms hang down, release any tension in your neck and just let your body hang if you can. And then slowly round your back as slow as you can to stand back up straight and bring your feet back together, hands at your side. I'm gonna move into a neck stretch. So I'm going to bring my right ear towards my right shoulder. Keep your shoulders neutral. Don't scrunch your shoulders up. Move your uh, ear towards your shoulder. And if you want a little bit of extra tension, you can take your right hand and lightly put it on top of your head. And I'm gonna switch, same thing on the left. Bring my left ear towards my left shoulder. Hold this position, take a few breaths. And I'm gonna bring my head back to neutral. I am going to bring my hands up over my head. I'm gonna grab my left wrist with my right hand. And I'm gonna lean my body and with my arms up over my head, lean to the right and give a gentle pull on my left arm to get a good stretch down through my arm, through my armpit and down the side of my body. I'll let my arms fall, kind of shake them out a little bit and then repeat on the left. So now, with my left hand grabbing my right wrist up over my head, stretching to the left. And then I'll let both my arms fall down. I'll, I'm gonna do a few shoulder circles. So bring my shoulders up towards my ears, round them down behind my back, and then back to neutral. You can kind of Roll your shoulders any way that feels good. You can shake your arms out a little bit, kind of do some arm swings in front of your body. We do a lot of arm movements along with cardio that can sneak up on you. So just releasing any arm tension you might have with some circles. I'm going to lower um, to my mat. I'm gonna sit on my bottom and I'm gonna stretch both of my legs out straight in front of me. Going to point my toes up towards the ceiling and then I'm going to reach forward and grab my toes and try to pull them towards my chest and just hold this position for a few seconds. And then after that, I'm gonna bring the bottoms of my feet together and pull them in towards my body. So now I'm in the butterfly stretch. My knees are pointed outwards towards each side of my body. Again, I'm gonna to try to grab onto my toes and lean forward into the stretch a little bit. And then after that, I'm gonna put my hands back behind me, so behind my bottom, and I'm going to, my fingertips are pointing towards the wall behind me. And from here, I'm just going to pull my shoulders back and open up my chest forward to get a little bit of an additional chest and shoulder stretch while I'm doing my butterfly pose. Just hold that for a few seconds, take some deep breaths. 
from there, I'm going to get into my cat cow. I'm on all fours, hands underneath my shoulders, knees shoulder width apart. You can move through some cat cow at your own speed, bringing your spine up towards the ceiling and then pushing your belly button towards the floor. And then to finish for the last minute, when you're ready, I'll get into child's pose, bring my toes together, spread my knees a little bit wider apart, sit back onto my feet, keep your arms stretched forward if you can, lower your chest down, and hold this here for a few moments. When you are ready, you can come out of child's pose. Be sure to stretch anything extra that you might need to. Stretching is super important. And drink some water and have a great rest of your day. And I look forward to next time. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thanks, Ashley. Hi, everybody. Music, by the way. Thank you.